Hey guys, so I want to do a very quick video here featuring the HEC One M9 because uh, I've just updated to the official Android 5.1 uh, update and I wanted to see if it had a improvement in regards to the camera uh, as well as the uh, performance of the device. Apparently the update uh, is basically to solve some bugs on the HEC One M9 uh, and there are quite a few of those bugs actually uh, that have been quashed. Uh, I think there's uh, not many new changes when it comes to the actual functionality. Uh, HCC been getting some backlash for ha having ads in the uh, blink feed area, but I've not actually seen any uh, recently. Uh, it seems to be quite uh, clean at the moment for me. Uh, the actual uh, speed of the device seems to be just as quick as it was before. So, uh, the actual bugs, there's quite a few of them here, so you do have like uh, the uh, Wi-Fi issue where it wasn't automatically reconnecting to like Wi-Fi, uh, Chrome crashes, uh, calculator fixes, and uh, the clock in the status bar not updating and alarms not going off. Uh, so, quite a few of them, which I'll probably leave a link in the uh, description so you can see what the changes are uh, but I have been out and about just checking out the camera here on the uh, HTC One M9 to see if I can see any uh, kind of improvement here and I'll put them on your screen uh, so you can basically see uh, what I've been taking and to me uh, I've always thought that the M9 does uh, pretty well when it comes to the uh, good daylight kind of settings and I think uh, this uh, update uh, continues that trend really uh, I think the uh, photos are very uh, nicely detailed uh, nicely balanced in terms of the colors and uh, the uh, kind of uh, detail is there as well uh, so as I said you know I have uh, tried to do some different modes here such as HDR as well as the panorama mode so you can see how that is and uh, I think that uh, in general most people will be quite happy with the uh, performance here of the camera on Android 5.1 uh, I think the only area which I did notice isn't too much improvement was in terms of the low light uh, which is still coming with some grain here uh, when you do have like uh, lower light uh, I'd say probably a little bit better than it was before when I first got the device uh, it was a little bit uh, kind of bad like uh, even as bad as some older devices but I think they've uh, certainly made some improvement there uh, keeping it under check a little bit and uh, I did also do a little bit of uh, video so you can check that out here uh, to see uh, basically if you can see any improvement hey guys so I uh, just wanted to do a quick little uh, 4k test here of the video on the HEC One M9 since the Android 5.1 update see if it's any better here and uh, I'm going to just uh, let you decide really and I uh, can see something here to focus on So it certainly looks alright on the screen to me and uh, obviously the big test is how it looks on the computer or a TV. So as you can see there I think uh, in terms of the uh, good lighting the uh, video seems to be uh, very uh, good on the HTC One M9 and uh, I was keeping my hand quite steady. Uh, basically testing it to uh, give it a hand in terms of the quality I do think that if it did have uh, optical image stabilization then I probably wouldn't have to be so careful uh, with the actual keeping it uh, still but uh, you know I can definitely see I think uh, there's been some slight improvements here when it comes to the camera uh, which is good news for people who have invested in the uh, HTC One M9 which uh, it was only just released like a couple of months ago uh, so uh, the other thing I wanted to check is the actual Antutu 
Uh, now, as far as I'm aware, on the uh, the previous version, Android 5.0.2, uh, uh, I think we were getting about uh, 56,039. I've just ran through the uh, Antutu without uh, disturbing it. And as you can see, we are getting quite a nice score there, 61,543. So to me, it looks like there's been some uh, performance gains there uh, when it comes to the Antutu. Uh, so that is uh, also quite good to know here that it's not gone backwards. Uh, and as I said, in terms of the day-to-day -day use, you know, still just as snappy as uh, when I first got it, really. If there's one thing that you can guarantee with HTC devices, it's going to be a fast experience, uh, no matter what really, so that is good. Uh, and the multitasking as well, you can see uh, not uh, much in the way of like that annoying reloading that you get on the S6. Uh, which they still haven't fixed. Might do a comparison with the uh, S6 just to see basically uh, how the speed is. Uh, if anyone's interested, some people have been saying that the S6 slows down after a couple of months. Uh, be interested to see if it can keep up with the M9 now that they're both on Android 5.1. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just a quick video here catching up with the HEC 1M9 on the official Android 5.1. Hope you enjoy and if you did don't forget to leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.